everybody and welcome to Spoon Master Sent Me a Box Part 2. Um, in the first video, uh, I opened up the Colosseum that hosted this beautiful fusion Bakugan Halcor in Serpentis, Darkest Aralis. He is such a nifty little guy. Make sure you check out that video if you haven't already. Um, I really like this guy. I talk a little bit about his, his fusion and everything in that along with the stuff about the Colosseum. So uh, that's going to be linked. Make sure you give that a go. But in this video, we have the Aquas Faction Bundle. And this is a magnificent product, folks. There is going to be a faction bundle for each faction except for Aralis, I believe. Maybe, I don't know, we don't actually know about that for sure. Um, but so far we know of all of the other ones ex like existing, like they're gonna be coming out. This one is the Aquas one. So the important things to know about this is that it comes with one promo card, which you see right in the little window here. Uh, for Aquas, it is blinding ink, so it has full card art and it is hex so it's a promotional reprint it also comes with 10 other reprinted cards and four uh, booster packs and a little card uh, deck box so that's really this is this is a great product this is going to be on shelves and people are going to have great access to cards uh, you know like fingers crossed um, I am so I'm so happy to have one of these in my hands and to be able to open it to show you guys what's inside Snippy snappy. I don't, oh boy. Okay, maybe let's just, let's open it from the bottom. We're gonna open it from the bottom. That's gonna be, ooh. oh, there we go. That's, oh, there's tape. There's always tape. There's always more tape. It's the law of packaging is that there's always more tape. That's probably good enough. Do -do, do -do. Sing a little box opening song. Here we go. Oh, I am so happy. I'm so excited. So first thing is there's a lot of plastic here. Let's um pull the top off. So like I said, this is the promo card. Uh, each faction bundle comes with um, its own promo card that, like I said, is the full art and it's hex. Uh, this one is Blinding Ink. Blinding Ink is a two cost action card. Uh, negate, uh, if I could talk. Negate an action card that costs three energy or less. I don't like negates. <laughs> I know there are people who like negates. It's a personal preference thing. But Blinding Ink is a good one to reprint and have as a promo, actually. This one is a really useful card if you play Aquas. Um, if you watched my year one cards that you should know, this is one that I actually talk about in that video. That one is going to be linked in the cards as well. So now we're going to get into the other reprints here. So those are the first ones that come right behind the promo card. Snip it. The first one that we see on top is going to be the one Baku Elite that comes in it. This one is Sneak Attack. Um, it's all nice and shiny, so they reprinted that. Six cost for the rest of the turn. Both players may play Evo cards from their hand for free. The next one is Absorb. Absorb is an awesome rare. It is four cost, negate an action card. You may copy its effect and make your own selections for it. Next we have Strata. Uh, a, a hero card, two cost, um, super rare. All players draw an additional card each turn. It's kind of interesting, it says all players instead of both players. So like, I guess if you're playing with like three or four people somehow, that would be a mess. Haven't tried that yet. That'd be interesting. The next is another super rare, it's Riptide, four cost. You must reroll your Bakugan. If you open on the reroll, that Bakugan gets plus 500B and you may draw two cards. Next is a flip card. We have Power Roll, also a super rare. Three cost, retract all Bakugan after this attack. Yeah, Power Roll. Yeah, Power Roll. <laughs> He's really um, eating that Bakugan there, or whatever. Or is he rolling? I don't know. Is he the one rolling? Is that what it's supposed to be? Oh, yeah. So he's going to ball form and then he's rolling away or rolling towards or back. Or I don't know. Okay, that's great. That's. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this card before. <laughs> it's a reprint. Um... That's cool. Uh, the next one is um, a rare card, bubble net, two cost, plus 300B, retract your Bakugan at the end of the turn. Cool. Ah, the moment we've all been waiting for. The best card Aquas has to offer. Four cost, plus 400B. Flow, if you have played another card this turn, plus four frost strike. That's right, people. It's Mud Pit. <laughs> 
mud pit. <laughs> the next is Lost at Sea. Lost at Sea is a two cost flip, flip a coin if heads stop the attack. Some people swear by this somehow, other people have never ran it and probably never will. <laughs> Um, we have Sinkhole. Sinkhole is a great one to reprint, actually. This was an Age of Arliss card. It was a rare. Um, it's four cost, negate a hero or action card. So this one's actually a really good reprint. Um, this one is pretty nifty. Uh, I think I talked about this one in my Cards You Should Know from Year One video as well. This is, this is a, a good one to have had reprinted in order to play it. Um, and then finally, we have Hidden Treasure, which is a one cost flip, stop Arliss. If you do, you may draw two cards. That was one that some people were kinda, kinda looking at. Some people ran it, some people liked it. So that's nifty, it's really nifty. So those are the 10 reprinted cards in this. Uh, we're gonna save the deck box for the end. So just, you know, so everybody knows I didn't forget about it. It's right here. Um, but I am first going to open these cards. Um, these booster packs are Armored Elite. These are not Fusion Force. I don't know what the deal is on that because the box uh, says Fusion Force on it. Like, it shows Fusion Force booster packs on the back of the box. I think that the earliest products have Armored Elite in them, which on one hand is like kind of sad because it's like, I want Fusion Force cards. But on the other hand, a lot of people missed out on being able to get AV. Um, distribution got a little wonky on that and it kind of was only just starting to get its way out into the wild in a semi decent fashion when the pandemic hit and everything kind of shut down across the nation. Um, so it, it's kind of nice to have these and be able to tear into them and, and get more cards to people who haven't been able to get them yet in a product that stores are going to like and probably want to sell on their shelves. Uh, so let's let's tear into the four, if you, uh, four oh gosh, I said Fusion Force, four uh, Armored Elite booster packs real quick. Never opened like cards on camera before, so this will be this will be fun. I don't know what's gonna. I really opening cards is probably the most exciting part because um, you you don't know what you're gonna get, uh, but you always like hope for something awesome. Um, and sometimes you do get something awesome, and it just makes you it feels like Christmas. It really does. So the first card that we have on top is Dark Daggers. It's a Baku Gear card. Have a few of these already. The next one is Bolt Blow, which I kind of like. You said Bolt Blow. That's what it is. It does Bolt Blow. What? Oh yeah, my. okay, here's the thing. There's a weird like Mandela effect or something going on. Everyone thinks it's Bolt Bow. It's Bolt Blow. I don't know why, but it is. And everyone calls it Bolt Bow, and it's Bolt Blow. Like all of the ones that we have say Blow on them. There's a bow on it. It's a bow. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know. I'm not like in charge of things. <laughs> but it is bolt blow. You can see it plain and clear. There's an L in there. Okay. <laughs> um, Guardian Wings. Uh, we have a few of these. It's another gear card. There's quite a few gear cards in this pack. That's fun. Pyru Scorch. Uh, Heo Bracers. I like Heo Bracers. Plus 1000B permanently. That's cool. That's a good card. I like Heo Bracers. Pyru Cannon, seen a million of these. Uh, Diamond Trox Ultra Evo, that's fun. And Darkest Hyper Trox Ultra. Uh, the awesome rare in here, Master Strategist flip card. And then finally we have the Hex um, one that comes in here, it's Ventu Stealth. Nice. You like Bentu Stealth? I ran it for like five minutes. Oh, well, for five minutes in AV format. That's kind of fun. I think that it's fun that the hex on this one, it's not like fully hex, but it is on just the little, little bat tricks there. That's fun. So we're going to rip into the second pack here. I kind of got it stuck there. Let's see. We have Darkest Storm. Baku Block. A flip card. Over and Under, which is another flip card. Sting Laser. Tempest Generator. That's a gear card. I feel like, do I know somebody who needs that or not? Toolbox wants Hex one. Oh, I don't have any Hexes. Sorry, Toolbox. Aqua Plate. Razor Tusk. Aquas Bubble. 
uh, fiery friend. I almost said fiery fiend. No, it's fiery friend. It's a little pal. It's your little buddy. A fiery little, little pal. Fiery friend. And a hex version of Nobilius Troublemaker, which is Magnus losing his mind with Nobilius. That's great. That's really fun. Next one we're going to open up here. Number three. The first one is Windstorm. Another Guardian Wings. Another Hayo Bracers. Uh, Ventus Stink. Um, this one I personally wrote in Ventus Stinky on it, um, and that's what I call it. So this is Ventus Stinky. Um, I'll just take like a Sharpie and write it on, right? Put a little, little, little Y on there. Um, another Pyro Cannon. I right. Um, Rocket Bracers, another gear card. It's kind of, there you go. A uh, Diamond Dragonoid Evo. A Diamond Cycloid Evo. Another Master Strategist. And a Hex Burrowing Blow. Great. <laughs> and then finally, pack number four. Ooh, I want to, ooh, opening it kind of weird. Come on, pack four. Please have something I would absolutely love. First card is another Pyroscorch. <laughs> uh, Guardian Wings, again, that's three out of four Guardian Wings. That's a play set, that's fun. Uh, Pyrus Vortex. Um, another Hayo Bracers. Got a play set. Is that a play set of Hayo Bracers? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, another Tempest Generator. <laughs> another Aqua Plate. <laughs> Just getting getting all kinds of them. Another Diamond Cycloid. Uh, Diamond Glader Ultra. That's fun. And that's a rare one. Entropic Touch. Ooh. Ooh, this is a fun one. Destroy all enemy Baku gear cards. And then finally, oh. <laughs> I have something. Tool Toolbox is gonna. I mean, he's already got a hex play set of these, I think, but um. He, he might still want it anyway. Um, it's his boy. A Hex Maximus Trox Ultra. <laughs> it took so long to pull that. It took a million years to pull one of these things. That is fantastic. Um, wow, it's so pretty. That's great. That's really great. Um, that's, that's fun. So those are the cards that came in the Armored Elite card packs that I got in the Aquas Faction bundle. And then finally, I'm just gonna pull out this little, little cardboard deck box and see if I can figure out what to make sense of it. Okie dokie. Oh, it's really easy to fold this together. Okay, that's fantabulous. So um, if for whatever reason it's difficult to get your hands on deck box or you just want a Bakugan deck box, uh, this cardboard one is pretty nifty. It actually feels like pretty decently firm um, cardboard and it says Aquas on it. So with each faction bundle, you get a cardboard card box, um, deck box, sorry, a cardboard deck box uh, for that faction. So if you're, especially if you're an Aquas player, go ahead and get your hands on one of these so you can put all the cards that you pull into your little box. So this is how it compares. Um, I have, I think this is a hundred card. Yeah, this is a hundred card box. In this, I keep my uh, 40 card deck plus three character cards and then three of my Bakugan and then in the back my Baku cores and a hundred card deck. Um, but this one is, or hundred card box. Oh my gosh. Um, so this is, this is the cardboard one next to uh, a plastic one that you can buy at like a game store. So I guess it definitely holds sleeved cards. Yeah, so yeah, it definitely holds sleeved cards, so it's big enough for that. So it's, it's a fairly decent size. This should be able to hold like a 40 card sleeve deck and your character cards in it. Definitely, for sure. Um, it compares nicely. It's not quite as big as a 100 card uh, box, but it is, it's good. It's a good sizable one. That's really cool. The, what a fantastic product. I 
think that this is great in order to get people's hands on cards, uh, getting four booster packs, and then the, um, the, the 10 reprints plus the 11th reprint, which is a promo card. So with a couple of like bu faction bundles, you could be able to feasibly build uh, a deck out of those. Um, maybe not necessarily with the boosters that you get, um, but if you buy like a couple of them, I think that, I'm trying to remember what MSRP on these is supposed to be. I think it's about $15 USD, um, but this is just a great, this is a great TCG product. This is, and this has the cards in it, has some reprints, and it's just going to hopefully fly off the shelves. And I am so happy to have gotten my hands on one. So thank you, Spin Master, for sending me the Aquas Faction bundle. Um, I, I love this product. I think it's great. Everybody is going to really enjoy being able to get these, get those booster packs, get a little deck box, get some of the reprints. It's just, it's a wonderful product overall. Um, so again, if you guys uh, haven't already, make sure you check out the first video of Spin Master Sent Me a Box, uh, in which I open the Colosseum and look at a Fusion Force Bakugan. I look at Serpentes and Halcor, or Halcor X Serpentes, you know, that comes with it. Um, just a huge thank you to Spin Master for sending me this product. It was so much fun to get a box on the doorstep today that uh, had a big uh, Spin Master logo on it. Um, yeah, and make sure you guys uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, go ahead and subscribe and maybe ring that bell so you know when I'm posting more videos. All of my socials will be linked in the description as well as listed on the end card. And I'm just, I'm super excited for everything that's uh, coming out here. Fusion Force and then the next uh, set, Shields of Astraea, everything is so exciting.